guys. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I have a sickness. <clears throat> I've had it for a long time, and I've been I've been hiding it from you. <clears throat> oh man, you know what's funny about this sickness? You have it too, everyone. That's right. Today we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2 yet again because look, the results are in from the poll, right? 1,400 votes. 71% of you want me to give you all the Switch 2 videos, and today. Oh boy, today we have a patent. Today we have uh, actual tangible information from Nintendo to talk about for Nintendo Switch 2. That's pretty good news all around. Really exciting stuff. Uh, I'm just really excited to get into all of it. Uh, and you know what? Apparently 71% of you are as well. Uh, so if you're upset that, hey, we continue to push out these Switch 2 videos, you can get mad at me, right? We got the Switch 2 sickness going on, but... You know, you should be looking at people down in the comments. You should be talking to yourselves because you're asking for it. So I'm just giving the people what the people want. Now, what are we talking about today? Well, we have some updates for the Nintendo Switch 2 controller and backwards compatibility, baby. That's what we're talking about. So... Without further ado, we're going to dive in after I remind you, hey, if you want to stay up to date, if you're part of the sickness, you want to be part of that 71%, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and all of that. We'll keep you up to date on everything Switch 2, because my gosh, we got a lot of Switch 2 videos coming your way this week, at least. I don't know about after this week, but definitely this week. So if you guys remember, there was a report way, way, way back. Got one over here on GameIndustry.biz. See, Nintendo Switch 2 reportedly has magnetic Joy-Cons, new cartridges, larger 1080p screen. We're specifically focusing right now. We got two parts to this video on the magnetic Joy-Cons aspect. And this was published all the way back in April uh, of April 29th, 2024. And it came from a bunch of different people. WCCF Tech and a whole bunch of other places uh, ended up corroborating this so-called magnetic uh, Joy-Con thing, which you're like, well, magnets in the Joy-Cons. Well, then we have this post over on Family Boards, and look, it's a hidden post, so I can't really, like, post it, but if you look up magnetic Joy-Cons Family Boards, you will find, like, a post over on, uh, I believe it is the Gaming and Leaks subreddit that has all the information, but I'll put the direct link to the post in case you happen to be a member of Family Boards and you want to go check it out. So what we're really focused on today is corroborating this idea that Nintendo's using magnets. Uh, again, we have shipping data information that says it. We had rumors that said it. And now we have a patent from Nintendo that says it. This patent was published yesterday, August 13th, 2024. Originally filed for back in October 26, 2023. Or I'm sorry, June 22nd, 2023. Uh, and then they did an update to it in October of 26, and obviously it was published today. So they've been looking at this stuff, you know, a little over a year. But let's go ahead and look at this, because this is about a game controller. Now, most of this patent is just recapping how the Switch Joy-Cons and everything will function. But as you go down, there's this first image here. If we take a look into this image, there's one mention on this image we want to get into. And that mention, of course, is right here, where you see a magnetic force sensor. No, folks, this is not present on the Joy-Con patent. So this isn't part of the Joy-Con patent. This is an all-new controller patent, although the images will look just like Joy-Cons. Because, again, they're not going to put images in here of a new controller because they haven't announced one yet. So as we go down, what really matters is we can get into all the text, but we already know how this all functions and how this all works, at least based on this patent and the images associated with it. So here's your Switch. We'll zoom out a little bit just so you can see the whole thing on screen here. But as you go down, you see, oh, it's an attachable, detachable controllers. Okay, this is just your standard Joy-Cons and your standard Switch. A uh, little back thing, little uh, arrows. If you didn't know what this is, these are just the connectors that your Joy-Cons charge with. Uh, so, like, those aren't surprising. Those are already on Switch if you've ever taken a Switch and or Joy-Con apart. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. I tried looking it up in the text. It, I don't know if that's related to the magnets or not. But here's what we do know. This looks all standard fare, right? Yeah, these are some images we haven't seen in the Joy-Con in a while, but it's all standard fare. That's the connector for the Joy-Con, the charge, all of that. But there is one image in here, along with that mention of the magnets, that we need to pay attention to. And that's this one right here, the locked and unlocked. So right here, this is your little nub. You see this thing? That's a, your little nub on both of it. So like, you know, what locks it in position, you press the button to unlock your Joy-Con in the back. Here's your little nub. Your nub slides down, it goes into the slot. You obviously push in the button, it pops out of the slot to unlock, etc., etc., etc. This part here is the new part, number 42 and number 17. If you look deep into the patent, these are electro magnets. These currently do not exist 
on the current Joy-Cons. And while this patent is public and this exact way they're using the electromagnets may not be what's final in Switch 2, this does prove that over the last year or two, Nintendo has been looking into electronic magnets to help further solidify your connection of your controller to your Switch. Now, why would they want to do that? Well, some of it could just be to impact, oh, what do they call it? The waggle, right? When you get like the little, the Joy-Con waggle when they kind of are loose in the slot. Electromagnets can obviously uh, help deal with this. This can also help deal with this if this nub ever broke. Well, this electromagnet can still give you a fairly secure locked in connection. So again, this probably isn't like the final design of what the electromagnets are in Switch 2, but this is proof that Nintendo was actually researching the use of the magnets, which just adds to the rumors that we already had back in April and then adds to the evidence we have in the shipping data that they are using electromagnets in some form to connect your Nintendo Switch in some form. Maybe they don't even have this nub anymore. Maybe there's this, this nub doesn't slide in and there's a magnet here and there's a magnet here and that's how they connect. So again, this is stuff that doesn't exist in the current Joy-Cons even though this patent is essentially showing off the current Joy-Cons and then just adding this electromagnet stuff in. That's pretty much what the whole patent's about is just adding in the electromagnet. This also is a little new on the rail. If you bother to look at your Switch, you don't have these little raised platforms. I don't know if these are things that, like activate the magnets. This here is just a connection point that Switch current has so this this part here this section here with these little things that look like they go up and down uh those are new as well uh but everything in this patent what we really want to pay attention to are the magnets now it's going to go over the pin layouts and how the thing charges and none of that is really too relevant to what we're focused on we're focused on the magnet part unfortunately as you go through this patent there's not really a whole lot else on here about the magnets other than the text that just describes that well magnets are powered through electricity and um, cause them to connect to each other. Uh, and like, yeah, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really give a whole lot. Here's your whole button mechanism to release, which again is on the current Joy-Con. So most of this is just breaking down what the Joy-Con is already with a couple of new ideas and redesigns, but the magnets are the thing we want to focus on. And people get really excited whenever they see this dock picture. They've used this in so many patents. We can't know if this really has anything to do with the Switch 2 dock. This could just be a way to show the switches in the dock. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but they've now used that in multiple patents. Uh, so that's notable as well. But clearly that is something that Nintendo has now factually, we have the public evidence, they have actually experimented with magnets connecting Joy-Cons, and now we have the rumors of the Switch 2 controllers using magnets. We have, obviously, the whole, hey, shipping data saying that the controllers have magnets in them and the console because you know both have to have magnets for it to work so yeah it kind of seems like we're pretty much confirmed here that nintendo will be using magnets of some sort to connect controllers um, and so yeah that's that, that's pretty interesting now next up what we want to focus on is the idea of backwards compatibility look We've had reports on backwards compatibility and people saying it's going to be there. So I'm not sure if it's going to be full backwards compatibility, all that. Well, Nintendo did something that I think is notable and has been reported on by some, but we haven't covered it here yet. And that is this. They updated the patent for the original Nintendo Switch cartridge. Uh, if you look at this, you can see that they originally filed this stuff, you know, a long, long time ago. We're talking all the way back in October of 2016 when they originally applied for it. Uh, and then they reapplied here in June and, and, and of, uh, of 2024. Now, what is going on? Well, they updated the patent. And you might go, well, what did they update? Now, usually it's the language of the patent that's updated. And there isn't, you know, a ton of language in this. You could argue they maybe updated the images, but all these images here literally are just of the current, the, the current uh, cartridge. So what does the update include? Well, I can't seem to find any massive language differences. So the big assumption here is that the reason that they finally updated this patent, gosh, eight years later, would be because there's a new device coming out that's going to be taking these cartridges and they needed the language in there to include that device without specifically naming that device. What people are basically thinking is this means full switch backwards compatibility. This is not a new form of cartridge. This is the exact cartridge we already have. And so full backwards compatibility would be pretty 
awesome. Like, look, we already know Nintendo accounts are forward compatible because Nintendo told us, which makes most people assume, well, our purchases are tied to our Nintendo accounts, so our digital library might be might be forwards compatible. But what about physical? Well, it appears that, hey, they just updated the Switch physical cartridge. Yeah, they're probably going to end up uh, having Switch physical cartridge backwards compatibility. Now, will it be a single slot where you slot this in, and then if you slot in a Switch 2 cartridge, it uses like a, di like a different notch or something like the 3DS and DS did, uh, and then you have your, your uh, obviously Switch 2 cartridges that are slightly different than the Switch? That I don't know. Are they going to use the exact same cartridge? I don't know. Uh, or is there going to be two cartridge slots, which I think would be... Quite interesting if you go to store a Switch cartridge and a Switch 2 cartridge at the same time in your system. I actually kind of like that idea. I don't think they'll do it, but I do I do like the concept. And Nintendo has done multiple cartridge slots before. Remember the DS? You would put a GBA game in the bottom, but then a DS game in the top. So like Nintendo's done multiple cartridge slots. So it's not out of the question that Nintendo could have a Switch slot and then a Switch 2 cartridge slot. That is entirely possible. I also want them to have multiple micro SD card slots, which I probably won't get that either, but there are devices that have it. This very camera I'm recording on has two full-size SD card slots. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool if uh, Switch would support something like that. Maybe not the full SD, but the micro SD. But anyways, that's uh, what I got for you today. Uh, this is stuff that's pretty like tangible, and we have literal stuff from Nintendo. Uh, so take that for what you will. Don't worry, there's more rumors and other stuff for us to get to, and we have an entire podcast tonight dedicated to some stuff. Uh, but here you go. I wanted to give you guys something tangible today, get a little break from the rumor reporting that we've had over the last couple of days, give you something more tangible. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubble Chance from Nintendo Prime, and hold on a second. <coughs> <laughs> the sickness is real. I'll catch you guys in the next video.